We begin with new dramatic images tonight in new neighborhoods in Lower Puna that are being told to prepare for a voluntary evacuation. Fast moving lava has now crossed one of the main roads in Leilani Estates, isolating dozens of homes. And tonight, the county and the National Guard even conducted evacuations by helicopter. Now, we want to go to a map of where people are now being told to prepare for a possible evacuation. The folks who live between Isaac Holly Beach Park to Kalapana. Our Marissa Yamani is on the Big Island tonight. Once again, she's in Pahoa with the very latest, and it's another dramatic night, as you can see, Marissa, by that orange glow over your shoulder. It looks even more red in person, Howard. We're outside of the evacuation zone. You can see that red glow right there as my photographer, Justin Cano, zooms in. That's right outside of the Leilani Estate subdivision. Doesn't it look super eerie? We've also been hearing a roar of the eruption. Kind of sounds like a jet engine. Now, here's the very latest from the county. Late this afternoon, the lava from Fisher 20 crossed Pohoiki Road near Malama Key Place. That cut off about 40 homes, but not everybody was at home at the time. Tonight, the county fire helicopter evacuated four people and plans to go back at sunrise tomorrow to pick up three more people who are still in the area but don't appear to be in any immediate danger. People in three other vehicles were able to evacuate on their own by driving out. Meanwhile, the county says people who live between Isaac Halle Beach Park and Kalapana be prepared for a voluntary evacuation if Highway 137 becomes threatened and Pohoiki Road remains closed tonight. Earlier today, we spoke with Daryl Oliveira, who was in charge of the county's emergency response during a Pahoa lava flow four years ago. And the difference between 2014 and this is, you know, how quickly this event unfolded with little, you know, uh, time, lead time for residents. And it's occurring right in their backyards, right in their property, versus in 2014, we had some lead time where the, you know, origination from the flows and how far away and then the speed at which it was moving so the community could prepare and ramp up. With this, it's happening instantaneously. Certainly this time very unpredictable as well as volatile. Howard, back to you. All right, Marissa, thank you. Scientists say the fast-moving lava is from fissure number 20. It's believed to be advancing at a rate of about three to 400 yards per hour. Now, this is a faster, more liquid pohoihoi type lava. Several other fissures remain active. Volcanic gas emissions also remain dangerously high throughout the lava evacuation areas. Now, burning vegetation is also playing a part in the poor air quality there. So a lot going on, and we're going to continue to stay on top of it throughout the weekend. Stay with KHON2 on air and online as we track this volcanic emergency.